Haven't gone on a holiday for a while? Well, with this recipe, you're off to the Middle East. Mmm, shut up, bird! Either shut up or subscribe to the channel, bird. Seriously, how good does that look? Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these chicken shawarma skewers. Pack a bag for your taste buds, they're off to the Middle East. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Chicken shawarma is normally cooked on a vertical rotisserie, but I don't have one of them. So I'm gonna be using skewers and making mini chicken shawarmas today. Obviously, I'm gonna be needing some skewers today, and I'm gonna be using these metal ones. If you only have wooden ones, just remember, soak them in water an hour before you need to use them. Now, I do have a horizontal rotisserie, but I figured this was just another good excuse to bring out the Weber GA. I'm using chicken thighs for today's recipe, and as always, the great people out at Gippsland Premium Meats have looked after me. And I do find that thighs have more flavor and tend to stay juicier than breast meat. Now, you just wanna cut each thigh into roughly six even pieces and then place them into a Ziploc bag. Is it too early to like this video? I won't judge you if you pre-like it. It's now time for the marinade, and I love to prep everything ahead of time just to make things easier. So grab a bowl, and into it we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil, some chopped garlic, turmeric, smoked paprika, cumin, ground coriander, cardamom, cayenne pepper, kosher salt, black pepper, lemon zest, and lemon juice. And give this a good mix up, and add this to the diced up chicken pieces. Seal up the bag, and just giving this a good mix up to make sure all the chicken has some of that marinade on it. Now I'm popping this in the fridge overnight. If you can't do it overnight, at least give it a couple of hours. Prep this in the morning, cook it in the afternoon. It's time to make up our skewers, so all we have to do is empty the marinated chicken into a bowl to make things easier. So all you have to do is slide the chicken onto skewers and obviously making the skewers even. By making the skewers even, they'll cook evenly. It's not rocket science. Stab chicken with a little stick. Today, I'm gonna to be using my Weber Go Anywhere, or GA as they're known, and I'm gonna be pairing it up with my 100 mil riser I grabbed from Rub and Grub. That way, I can keep the chicken a little higher off the lit charcoal. So, I'll three quarter fill a chimney starter with lump charcoal. I'll light it up, and once it's fully ashed over, I'll dump that into the GA. And then using a pair of tongs, I'm just gonna spread the charcoal out to make sure I get a nice, even cook. And making sure the bottom vents are wide open to ensure we get as much airflow through the GA as possible. By keeping the chicken a little higher off the lit fuel, we're less likely to burn it, but we are gonna still try and char it up because charring is flavor. It's time to get the chicken skewers on the GA. So just laying the chicken skewers directly over the charcoal, and we're gonna give them a few minutes before we start turning them. By cooking the chicken directly over charcoal, as the juices fall down and hit that charcoal, the smoke comes up and that chicken gets a nice hit of that smoky flavor. Now this will create a fair bit of smoke, so don't be alarmed. Now this is a cook we do not wanna turn our back on. Chicken needs a lot of turning, we do want a bit of charring on it, we just do not want to burn the chicken. I just suggest you have a beverage or two by your side for this part of the cook. If you didn't know, Shuey's Barbecue has a Facebook page and Instagram account filled with awesome people just like you. Today, I'm grilling with a direct heat using the GA. And these chicken shawarma skewers are gonna take around 30 minutes to reach a safe eating temp of 74 degrees Celsius. Or for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Now normally this is where I'd say, I'm not gonna judge you if you sneak in an extra beer. I know I'm gonna. During the cook, I've been keeping a close eye on the internal temp of the chicken with an instant read thermometer. And it's reading 74 degrees Celsius. So we can get them off the heat and we're just gonna let them rest for about five minutes. While we're here, we might as well hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, hit that bell button as well. That way you'll be notified every time I upload new content. Chicken is such a versatile meat to cook with and by adding the flavors we did in this recipe, my taste buds are off on a holiday. Trust me. Once you try this recipe, you're gonna agree with me. It's that good, it should be illegal. Mm. As always, cheers for watching.